Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Scott Gaines and this is a Dynamics Post. Each week I create a new video on some Dynamics 365 content. Last week we started looking at the transportation module and we went over the basic processes using the transportation module. This week we're going to dive a little bit into the setup and we're going to look at the shipping carrier setup. So we'll take a look at that when we get right back. Okay, so this week we're going to take a look at the shipping carrier setup and we're just going to do the basic setup on the shipping carrier. We're going to add the shipping carrier and we're going to create a rate base for it. We're going to create two services on the shipping carrier, uh, a normal and then a second day uh, freight. So what we're going to do, that's all we're going to do this week. Uh, but next week what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the accessory charges. There's just too much stuff on the, on the shipping carrier that I could fit into one video. So if you want to keep watching this series and get notified when I post a new video, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell on YouTube and YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. I'm typically uploading every Tuesday uh, a new video. So um, again, subscribe and you can get notified when I do upload a new video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on just the basic setup of the shipping carrier. We're gonna add the shipping carrier. We'll do that next. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at creating a new uh, shipping carrier. And that shipping carrier, we're gonna call it Janus Transportation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to uh, Transportation Management, underneath Setup, and then Carriers, we're gonna go to Shipping Carriers first. Now what I've already done is I've gone into accounts payable vendors and I've set up a, a, a vendor for uh, a vendor account for Janus Transportation, it's GAN or JAN001. You'll need this for your um, vendor invoices. So I'm, I'm assuming at this point for the purpose of this demonstration that um, you know how to set up a, a vendor. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go in here and cl we're gonna click new and the uh, Shipping carrier, I'm just going to call it Janus, and then I'm going to call it Janus Transportation. And we'll go in mode. Um, we'll go ahead and say it's going to be a, um, we'll just do a truckload there. And we need to make sure we're going to activate it, the shipping carrier, and then we want to activate carrier rating. And here's where we're going to specify our vendor account, JN001. All right. So now our transportation company probably has several services that they offer. So let's go ahead and um, uh, we're going to put normal Janus and this is going to be ground and we'll do, um, do second day Janus. And this will also be ground. Okay, and so we could choose different different types here if we wanted to. And we're gonna go ahead and get hit save there. All right, so addresses, you can put in an address for the shipping carrier for our purposes here. I'm, I'm not really gonna do that, but, um, but you can put in an address for them. And uh, we'll get to the rating profiles here in a minute, okay? So that's our basic setup for the, for the shipping carrier and what we're going to get into next is we're going to get into doing the uh, the rating for these. All right so now that we've added our shipping carrier we've got our basic record there what we're going to do is we're, we're going to get to the rate base but first what I want to do is I want to show you uh, some of the engine setup so the, the whole transportation management module relies on engines to work you know the engines determine the mileage the time all that kind of stuff and when I go through the example I didn't do a great job of explaining it the first time so that way it may look a little disconnected here but um, uh, I'm going to kind of explain the engine setup first, kind of ex explain how that works and what you need to do if you're going to use these engines. So let's do that next. All right, so I want to take a minute and explain the engines that, uh, that the transportation module uses. So if I go under uh, transportation management setup and then engines. So we've got these different engines here. So the two that we're going to be using today, we're going to talk about the mileage engine and the transit time engine. Let's go look at the mileage engine first. And the kind of the underlying engine is going to be P to P, point to point. And if you're doing this example, you want to make sure that you've got your postal code and your pickup and your drop off postal code set up with a with a number of miles. Um, and then the same thing on the transit time, right? So if we go to transit time engine and point to point, you just want to make sure 
that you have your service specified and then you have, and, and I'll, I'll do this here in a minute in the example, but when I initially recorded the example, I didn't get, do a great job of explaining this. So you just want to make sure you have the data in these engines set up. Now, obviously, if you have a lot of different addresses you're going to, you're probably not going to use these engines. You're going to create your own engines. And if you if you Google um, transportation management engines, there's there's different examples that people have out there for connecting to things like Bing Maps. You know, you may connect also directly to your carrier. They may have a service. Um, so I just want to make sure that um, when you depending on what engine you're using, whether you're using a mileage or you know whatever transit time engine that you're using, um, just make sure that you have your data set up in there. Um, for if you're going to follow along with the examples. Okay, so now that we kind of get what the engines do, or, or at least what setup you need to do, again, you're probably going to create your own engines unless you're unless you're uh, delivering to a set number of customers. If you're delivering to a wide range of customers, entering in all those postal codes is just not going to be feasible. Managing that uh, is just going to not going to be feasible. Um, like I said, there's tutorials online how to for a developer to create you know different uh engines that that'll integrate to things like bing maps or you might may even have an integration straight to your transportation carrier all right so let's keep going and we'll look at the the rate setup on that uh we'll do that next all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the the actual rates for the carrier here so remember we got two services we have like a standard service and a second day so you just do this for each uh service that you're going to do um, you only have to set up one rate master for the uh for the uh, shipping carrier, but uh, you have to make sure that you specify the rates for each type of service. So what we're gonna take a look at first is if we go into transportation management and we go into the, the setup tab and let's go into the rating tab, the first thing we're gonna look at is the brake master. And we're gonna use one that's already here, but what, what the brake master does is it tells you, tells what the brake unit's gonna be or what where you, where you get brakes. So let's say that the shipping carrier charges, you know, a um, dollar a mile for anything under 100 miles, and then, you know, at 200 miles it's a rate, and 300 miles it's a different rate. So you basically set up those break points here in the Break Master. This is what's going to allow you to specify the different uh, rates, rate breaks there. Okay, so we're going to use a mileage break here, but, you, you know, you can have weight as well. So this one, you know, we're going to use this one here. This is mileage. It breaks at 100, 200, 300. 50 miles, so it's gonna break like this. You can, like I said, here's one that's, that does weight, so it's break units in pounds, um, for example, but we're gonna use the uh, the mileage one here for our example, all right? So the next place we're gonna go is we're gonna go ahead and go into our rate master, and we're gonna do a new rate master, and we're gonna call this one uh, Janus, and then we're gonna put Janus Trans transportation in the name and the rating metadata we'll just use um, we'll use this millage one there that one's already the rating metadata tells it what's required for the um, uh, for the rate to be calculated and that that millage one there has um, has just kind of uh, let's, well, actually let's just go into it and look at it so basically the rate base is what's what's going to be required there okay um, so let's go ahead and close that out. And then if we look at the rating metadata, you're going to have the, it's going to base, be basically looking for the origin postal code or in a, in a start and ending postal code there is, is what's going to be mandatory and how this is going to calculate. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, going to go into our rate base and set up our rate base. So we're going to click on there and we're going to do a new. And this is going to be for our, our standard standard transportation. Or I think I called it normal. Hang on, let me just put, name it the same thing. Apologize for that. I'm going to put normal here. Normal rate here. Okay. Rate master is going to be Janus. Now here's where we specify that brake master, which we're going to use that mileage. And we're going to hit save. And we'll notice down here, so that's when there are different rates are going to pop up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to do new. And we're not going to do an add-on charge, so I'm going to put zero there. So 50 miles, I'm going to less than 50, I'm going to put 20. Uh, less than 100, I'll put 15, 200. So we'll just go down here, 9, 8, 7, uh, 6. 
Okay. And we're going to save that. All right, so that's for our normal rate. Now let's go ahead and click New again, and this we're going to do our second day now. Day rate. And we could specify a, a different uh, master, so maybe, you know, there's a different mileage break on it. We're going to assume the same, but no, here we can set up a different break master on this other one if we wanted to. And we're going to go ahead and say New. And we're going to do sort of the same thing. So for second day, we'll start it at, um, we'll do 50. 40, 30, 20, 19, 18, 17. There we go. All right. So then we have our two rate uh, rate bases here. So we have our normal and then our second day with different rates on them. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to go and close this. And we're, we can go into our rate base assignments now. So let's go ahead and do new. And this is going to be our normal rate. And we can do our rate base is going to be the normal one that we set up. The service is going to be our normal Janus service. And then our origin postal code, we're going to use 98401. We'll leave the destination state blank. That one's not required. And then we're going to put in the destination start postal code and end postal code to be the same. There we go, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the country. It's not really necessary, but we'll go ahead and fill that in. Okay, so that's for our normal uh, service, normal service. So let's do one for our our second day. So this is going to be second day, and the rate base is going to be second day. Service is going to be second day, Janice, and we're going to do the same postal codes. And we're going to go ahead and fill in the country there as well. All righty. So that gets our rate base set up. So this is, again, this is what's going to determine the amount when we look at our, our, our rating um, there. When we when we put in our, our different postal codes, this is what going to term, what's going to determine the price. Okay? All right. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is let's close this out. And let's go into a, so there's a couple ways you can get to this. I'm going to go to the rating profile here, but you can get to the same screen from the shipping carrier. But uh, let's go to the rating profile from here. And we're going to go ahead and click new. And this one's going to be called uh, normal. Janice, normal. And basically what we're doing here is we're linking our, our rate base and rate, actually our rate master to our, um, uh, to our shipping carrier, right? So we're going to go in and say, this is our Janus shipping carrier. We can specify site or warehouse. I'm going to leave that alone. And then what we're going to use is we're going to specify two engines. Now these engines are out of the box. Um, so I'm going to use the mileage engine, the millage engine. And then I'm going to specify the rate master, which is our genus. And then I'm going to do our transit time engine, which is a point to point. So this rate engine here is going to determine the mileage or the weight, you know, depending on what you've um, what you've set up. And then the the other engine here is going to going to specify the amount of time it's going to take. All right. So again, these are out of the box. Let me let me go ahead and finish the setting it up. I'll show you those engines. So I'm going to do this one here, and we're going to put uh, second day Janus. Second day Janus, and the shipping carrier is going to be Janus. Again, I'm not going to care about the uh, siding warehouse. Uh, the engine is going to be the same. Rate master is going to be the same. And the transit time engine is going to be the same. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. All right. So if we go back, we can go check this and make sure this shows up correctly. So if we go back and look at our shipping carrier here, if we go, so, that, so like I said, you can do this either way. So if I go back to Janice here, and notice now here in the rating profiles, I didn't fill these in earlier. Now they're, they're filling in from the other screen. So I can go ahead and hit new here and, and create other, you know, other lines here. So I could, I could do that in either spot. 
Okay, so one of the things you want to make sure of is depending on the engine you use, they may require you to make sure there's some data there. So if I click on this, uh, actually it's going to be this uh, trans transit time engine. I'm going to click on that. And on this engine, it requires you to, it's basically a manual data. So it tells you, make sure that you've put in the, the transportation day. So this one is going to be a point to point. Let me go back to this the screen here. So this is our transit time engine. So this is what this one's going to calculate is how much time it's going to take either for our second day or our, our normal um, to, to make it to the make it to the destination, right? So what we're going to do here is I'm going to need to add, so for both of our services, you need to tell it how long it's going to take. All right, so let's go to the new here under the under the uh, transit time engine. I'm going to go in it new. And the service is going to be, we got to add both of our services. So i got to do normal Janus. And our pickup postal code is going to be our 98401. Our pickup country is going to be USA. And then our drop-off is going to be 31001. Drop-off country is going to be USA. So this is normal. So let's say that's going to take three days. And then let's do our second day. Dennis there. And I'm going to put in 98401. USA, and we're going to 31001, USA, and that's going to take two days because that's the second day there. Okay, and then we can save that. So some of these engines, you know, you, you've got to enter in this data. And, you know, obviously if you've got a lot of data, if you're drilling to a lot of different places, you're probably going to want to make your own custom engine that's going to look out, maybe go to Bing Maps or something and determine the amount of time it's going to take to get somewhere um, or, you know, or determine the mileage. Because a lot of these, you know, if, if you're doing like a retail business where you're shipping all over the country, you're not going to want to do this. So, you know, if you're delivering to just a few customers and that list is manageable, uh, you can use these. But uh, I would think most people that uh, if you're delivering all over the country to different people all the time, you're going to create your own engine and, and run with that. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and close this down. So now we've got our our rating engine rating done, all right? And the easy way to test this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to transportation management, and we're going to go to our rate route workbench. All right, so we don't have to go through the whole process to, to see if this is going to work, you know, and, and create an order and and all this. So an easy way to test this is just come to your rate route workbench and type in your from and to postal code if this is the criteria you're using. Um, so we're going to use 984001 and 31001. And let's just do a rate shop and see what comes up. All right. And we'll scroll down here. Okay. So we've got our two Janices here, our normal, uh, which is, so the, the normal rate is going to be $2,400. The second day is going to be 5700 And if we scroll to the right, uh, for normal, it's going to take three days, and for transit days, it's going to take two days. All right, so today what we've looked at, we've taken a look at how you can set up the shipping carrier and get the rate base going. Like I said, next week, we'll look more at the fuel surcharges, the accessorial charges. Those are, accessorial charges are just miscellaneous charges that the, the uh, uh, transportation company may may or may not charge again we'll, we'll take a look at those and, and get those set up next week okay so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it's helpful to you to um, to understand how the uh, shipping carrier gets set up um to be honest with you when we initially set up the rate base it was kind of confusing to me all the stuff you had to do but um, once you get it it's, it's not too terribly bad to set one up but um, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it, give it a thumbs up. That helps the uh, YouTube distribution on this video. Um, again, I'll post a new, new video next week. We'll be talking about those accessorial charges. Uh, so until next time, thanks for watching.